all right welcome back let's talk about permissions and groups before we learn about permissions and groups we need to understand what exactly the authentication and authorizations are in simple words authentication is a process that verifies the user by checking his identity for providing him the access to the system most of the times the identity will be the user's login credentials or in offline world it can be your identity card or access card but the authorization is the process where it determines what permissions does the user have okay so these are the simple definition of authentication and authorizations let's take a couple of examples now you go to the computer lab in your school or college you are allowed to enter into the lab by verifying your identity card that's called authentication essentially it means that you are the correct person to enter into the computer lab now you go to the computer lab and you are allowed to do some limited actions perhaps you are only allowed to use the computers inside the lab but you are not allowed to open that computer break that computer or you are not allowed to take that computer to your home the only permission you have is to use that computer for a specific time so that's what we call the authorization it just means that you only have the permission to use the computer in your lab okay so let's take another example of uh, our django blog application in our blog application the only person who is writing the blog is a super user what if the super user wants to hire a person or an editor to write the blogs on behalf of him he will probably provide the super user access to that person because the admin panel is the only place where he can write the blog post but providing the super user access to someone else can be very risky because super user has all the permissions to make or break the website if the editor is a bad person then he can even break your website or he can even delete your uh, data okay so to overcome this problem django comes with the default authentication system when i said the authentication system it generally means authentication and authorization system so when there is authentication the authorization is already there by default with that being said we are going to create some users to manage the blog post which is to add the post edit the post and delete the post okay we don't want to provide him any other access such as adding the users deleting the users and all that the only permission we give to the editors are for managing the categories and post that's all okay all right now let's create a user and give him a uh, editor permissions okay so to create a user let's go to this users and click on this add user and from here you can add the user maybe we'll call him as editor1 okay so the username will be editor1 and uh, let's put the password for him okay save all right so let's uh, fill up some basic information uh we can say ratan kumar and uh, editor one at the rate gmail.com and see his active status will be uh, true by default and for the editors let's check this staff status okay so when this staff is true then you can actually log into this uh, admin panel okay with the permission that you give all right so he is not a super user we don't want to check this uh, super user uh, status all right just check this staff uh, status all right and uh, let's talk about groups later but let's uh, see this user permissions okay so this user permissions because he is a editor right for the editors what we can do is we can give him uh, the access to add the blog okay so we can give him the access to add the blog change the blog delete the blog and he can view the blog okay the same with add the category change the category delete the category and view the category all right so these are actually the available permissions uh, that you can give to your user all right now let's say uh, for now for testing let's uh, give this guy a uh, can view blog okay so blocks blog can view blog so this means in the blogs app the blog model he have the permission to uh, view the blog the same way 
blocks app blog model can delete permission all right so for now let's uh, give this guy uh, only view blog permission and uh, select this and click on this uh, arrow mark and the permissions will be applied here okay so these are actually the available permission and these are the permission that you have given okay so this guy only has the view blog uh, permission let's see how it works so last login and date joined you don't want to uh, do anything save it okay so now we have created this uh, editor one right with the permission uh, can view blog all right staff status is true that means we can log out from here and we can log in here all right so let's say editor one editor one and put your password and log in all right now you can see this guy only has the permission to see the blocks he can only see the blocks if you open this there is no form to edit at all okay so this is actually the read only okay so even uh, you can notice there is no add button okay because he only has the few permissions okay no delete at all all right now let's log out and give some more permission to this guy let's log in as the super user because super user is the only person uh, that can give the access okay so let's go back to the users and let's go to the editor and uh, here okay so in the user permissions um, let's give um, yeah all right so here you can actually uh, press your control or select like this drag okay so control and select this one this one he can add the blog he can change the blog the same way he can uh, add the category change the category delete the category and view the category select all these permissions and click on this arrow so all those permissions will be applied to this guy now you must be wondering how uh, these uh, permissions are created okay so because we have never created any of these permissions okay so uh, see these permissions are uh, created this auth group and auth permissions and content types these are all the uh, default database tables that we migrate in the beginning right so these permissions will be created uh, in the beginning when we run a migrate command but these are the custom uh, models right so when we create any model uh, in our django application the tables are created and also the permissions will also get created every model has four types of uh, permissions one is can view can add can change and can delete okay the similarly another uh, model will have can add uh, can change can delete and can view okay so four permissions okay so we have given uh, these many permission to this guy and let's uh, save this now let's uh, go back to login and let's login as editor one and login and here you can see he has the permission to add the blog okay he can add the blog and he can also okay he can also delete the blog okay so of course we have the blog and uh, uh, similarly you have like uh, categories you can add the category change the category delete the category but he don't have any other access he can never add any kind of users he can never even can see how many users are there right so those things this uh, editor don't want right so he only want to uh, manage the blocks and categories that's all so that's why we have given these many permissions okay so now let's see all these uh, blocks are written by uh, django admin which is my super user now let's create one uh, blog test blog and of course a slug will be generated and category let's say sports and the author is editor one and let's put one featured image A short description and a blog body status will be published and let's save this now you can see this was created by editor and if you see the site the editor of this blog is editor one 
okay so that's how you add the blocks from the editors or the permissions okay so in the next video let's talk about groups okay thank you